Have you ever wondered how documentaries are shot? This video is going to give you a behind the scenes look of how I shoot my documentaries. I'm tired you know, of a filmmaker living in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm going to take you guys through the process of shooting the documentary. How to shoot a second tier Nigerian documentary in Nigeria, in Lagos, Nigeria? Yeah, so we're trying to mic him. We're using um, a tape, like a black tape, to hold the to hold the mic inside his shirt, so it doesn't show. Okay, um, I've been seeing a lot of Hollywood documentaries. Like, you see the mic. I don't know. Is that not professional? Why are you trying to hide yours? Uh, yeah. So it's like I have a problem with having the mic showing on the clothes, because I think it actually breaks the. Like, it's better if people just. I don't feel like you're just talking naturally. Yeah, I think I think it's just better without the mic. And it makes it look much more how do I say it now? You say it anyhow. Cleaner. Oh okay, yeah, cleaner. Yeah, so I see the zoom H6 to check the audio levels and also to attach the Sennheiser microphone to it. So we can also always check the audio levels, make sure the audio is clean and also record the audio separately. So by that we are editing, we can just we sync it into the visuals. So for this interview, we're now gonna cut it alongside Bureau. So they're gonna be doing a lot of stunts all over Lagos, like Marina, Mole, and some other some other places all over Lagos. So this interview scene is gonna be like a background to what we're gonna shoot for the bureaus. So the bureaus are gonna be all over the interview, so that we'll tell the story better. So you hear his voice playing in the background. Why? Uh, while he's while he's talking, Virgin C three hundred. It's a cinema camera to get the best footage possible. Um, we are shooting at ten eighty p, twenty five frames. Since it's an interview scene, and currently we are not using any lights for this setup because C three hundred can handle low light situations, and this is not really a low light situation. So it's nine twenty two. Today is Tuesday, seventh of February, and uh, we're rolling. So follow us along this journey. And I'll see you guys. Me to express myself more. So you find me in the arts class a lot. That place gave me that place was like solid. Yeah. <laughs> That's my change. Yeah. You gave me an idea. Yeah. You know how we look How was it like? Yo, yeah, it was <laughs> awkward, but you know. Man's guts get used to things, you know. So we're done with the interview scene here and we're headed to the mainland to get some of the other shots. That will tell the story better. That will tell the story we're trying to tell better. I was doing a cup. Okay, so we're headed to Yaba now for the rest of the shoot. I think we have Yaba first on the mainland. Uh, we are stuck in, stuck in like traffic, we're in Lagos now. So there is traffic. Currently at Unilag, Unilag is in Yaba, University of Lagos. We are shooting the scene where he goes to like his school, just to reenact the fact that he was in Unilag before. At the department. So that's what we're shooting. We had like a problem with some of the security guys. They were like, we cannot film here, that we need to get a permission and all that. So we're currently filming. Uh, at the close to like the Senate building of Unilag and uh, we have Mohamed there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Mohamed there. So he's filming the skateboard guy just to show the like, perspective of him him having attended the skateboard. Yeah, so we just currently got to Danso High School at uh, Oba. I want to get like drone shots of the building to establish that this is a school. This is the school the subject we are interviewing went to. So we also want to get establishing shots of the school via a drone. So I'm setting up the drone. Um, this is the DJI Mavic 2 Pro uh, with a Tiffin ND filter. I'm going to change the filter first because it's really sunny. So I need something to darken it up. 
Uh, what is that? Mm. That is a shadow god. This is the last one. Are you really? Yeah, I am. This is ND16, so it's much more darker. So ND filters are meant to be used um, in bright sunlight. ND filters are meant to be used in bright sunlight so as to be able to open up your aperture. Because if you open up your aperture in bright sunlight, it's going to be very overexposed. So we're using ND16, so that blocks out four stops. I think four stops of light from entering into the aperture. So there's this problem, you always have to calibrate your drone most of the time before you fly it. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to calibrate it. So we are shooting at 4K 24 frames. And I'm just waiting for satellites to come through. Shot now. I want to head into the school to go and get the interview scene done. Uh, we got an establishing shot of the school, so we're going into the school to get the rest of the interview. And, uh, let's go. So apparently, we are in Dance Hall High School. This is this is what the inside of the Dance Hall classroom looks like. We have ACs, like them niggas chilling. The students here chilling. So. so uh, we are trying to get, we got some footage of him looking out the window, so we are trying to reenact, yeah, also, we are trying to reenact him being in school, which is what we just done with some of the shots we've got. So I think we are moving on to the next one, we have to interview a teacher and get that over. Yeah, so now we are shooting the interview scene of the teacher. Uh, we mic them with the Sennheiser mic and we are shooting from a long distance with the 70 to 200 so that the, um, there's a lot of depth of field, there's a lot of compression in the image. We just want to wrap this up so we can head back to Lagos Island to get the stunt done. Last what's up. So we are... We're currently at Lagos Island now. We had to, we had like a sort of bit of a fraction. We had to sort out like some street out that were disturbing us to get shots. That's always the problem when you're shooting outside in Lagos. You're gonna have a problem with people who are gonna be on the road, who're gonna be disturbing you. So we're just trying our best to get what we need to get. At the end of the day, we need to get it worked on to get job done. Yeah, we're super great. So we're trying to get some B-roll shots of the guys jumping and doing tricks inside Lagos Island. We're currently close to UBA House. UBA House, I think Lagos Island. So uh, we had to like sort out, out. Like I said earlier, we had to sort out, out for so after sorting them out, like we were able to shoot. And like we're shooting now, so they're not disturbing us. So we're able to shoot now. Basically Lagos, when you shoot out on the streets, you have to pay money. Yeah, so what's up guys? We just got to 1004. It's been a very long ass day. We don't have sunlight again, but we still have to shoot. 
But we still have like a last scene. This is the last location, 1004 basketball court. So we're trying to get this shot, and I think this is the last shot for today, and then we're gonna call it a wrap. So basically, this is like uh, the documentary process, um, the interview scenes on one side, and the bureaus on one side. The bureaus are the ones we got at Lagos Island and uh, Marina and Freedom Park. So we're trying to get the last scene at uh, 1004. And so you guys can see the process involved. Can we just stick to that area while we're shooting, please? Are we ready? We ready? We ready? We ready? Okay. This one that you look like you're doing. All right, so I'm doing. rolling. You ready? Right. Tell us your name and introduce yourself and tell us how you met Fab. So this is the person that has been behind the camera all today, Solomon. All right, I'm going to, oh. your Instagram page, I'm going to plug, plug it in here. <laughs> so what do you do, what do you do generally apart from filming? I, I don't know, I just film. Okay. That's what I do in my life, you know? <laughs> I film, I get it. Okay. I get it, that's what I do. Okay. I film and I watch films. Okay, cool. How do you feel about the shoot today? I just want to ask. But do you feel you got some dope shots? Did you get some dope? Did you feel you got some dope? I don't know what I got. Yeah, so that's that's it, guys. That's how to shoot like a documentary in Lagos State, Nigeria. Uh, we're done with the shoot now, so we're headed home. I'm tired, pretty tired, but today was today was awesome. Running around Lagos Island. So I'm heading home now. See you guys soon. So I'm heading home now. Um, this is gonna be the end of this video. If you like this video and you want to see more content from me, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next one.